Hey YouTube, um, this is, um, I guess mommy update, um, this is week two, um, Chelsea turned two weeks on Saturday, um, and it's Monday, um, so she is 16 days old, um, she, I just weighed her on our baby scale, um, before she took her bath. And she was 9 pounds, 15 ounces. So I'm guessing tomorrow she's going to hit the 10 pound mark. Um, so she was born weighing 8 pounds, 14 ounces. Um, the first day, um, <coughs> day one, she um, went down to 8.5. So that was the lowest weight that she was ever at, was 8.5. So basically she's gone from day one being um, 8.5 um to nine fifteen. Um you done? Um in about fifteen days. So she's almost gained two pounds in fifteen in like two weeks. So um so yes, breast milk is the best for them. Um I nursed both my sons um, until they were 15 months old. Um, I mean, once they hit about nine, 10 months old, they don't nurse all the time. It's just, um, you know, before bedtime or nap time and comfort kind of thing. So, um, let's see what's gone on this week. Um, this was my first week um, that I was with all three children. Um, by myself, my husband got to take off a week and a half of work, um, and so I had to do everything on my own, um, trying to keep up with laundry and house cleaning and keeping a two and four year old amused um, and trying to nurse and feed everybody and um, just everything. Um, it is very difficult. Um, and stressful, um, but very well worth it. Um, it has been either way too hot um, or it's been raining here in Florida. Um, so I am getting very bad cabin fever. Um, basically, to get out of the house, we go to Walmart, um, which is sad because <laughs> that's my only only outlet um, besides staying here and being on the computer um, watching TV or whatever um, so yeah um, hopefully that changes I know the heat is gonna stay but hopefully the raining um, subsides a little bit so we can get out and do some things um, so with all that again can't really go outside and exercise too much, um, you know, because of all that. And um, I usually go to the gym, um, even when I was pregnant, I went to the gym all the way up until about 40, 40 and a half weeks. Um, I was doing turbo step aerobics, um, Zumba, um, trying to stay in shape, even being pregnant. Um, and um, the YMCA here doesn't allow, um, doesn't, well, doesn't watch the children until they're six months of age. Um, and the only way I can take her with me is to be in one of the classes, um, and I can just sit her in the corner, but she can't be in the, the place that the treadmills are at or anything like that because of, um, liability. Um, so I haven't been able to go do that because, um, it's only been two weeks since major abdominal surgery, so, um, yes, not, not feeling too good about my body right now, even though I know it's only been two weeks, um, I feel very flabby and nothing fits, and I'm sure everybody that's had babies, um, within the past month or so probably feels the same exact way, um, my maternity clothes are way too big now. Um, I don't particularly want to wear them, but they're the only ones that fit me right now, uh, besides like t-shirts. Um, 
my regular shirts before I got pregnant, um, let's just say I was in a size B, and now I'm in a size D, double D, from all the um, milk production and everything. So those shirts do not fit. Um, they basically come up to my belly button because of how big my breasts have gotten. Um, my size 6 pants that I wore before I got pregnant are not fitting yet. Um, I'm hoping that within the next month or so, um, especially when I start back working out, that they will um, start fitting because I'm wearing sweats, which aren't very comfortable um, anywhere but inside the house because it is so hot. Um, but there's nothing else that fits. So, And I've gone to the store. I've tried on stuff. Really depressing. Don't want to do it. Um, so, um, her sleeping habits. Um, she's a pretty good sleeper. Right now she's awake. She usually wakes up about this time. Um, between 8 and 11. She's pretty much awake. Um, she sleeps pretty well at night. Um, so, I'm trying to keep the house clean though because, um, my son's, my youngest that was, oh, oh, oh. my youngest, um, that is two, um, when I was in the hospital with her, um, he was very sick, having, you know, over 102 fever, um, throwing up, not feeling well, um, and he has, um, gotten over that. And then about a few days later, um, my oldest son, that's four, um, got it. And by that time, we were home, um, and his temperature at some point went up to over 104. Um, so basically, my husband was in charge of taking care of him um, and, and the other one. Um, and I was basically locked in our room for a few days. Um, with her so she wouldn't get it so even though I was home I sort of wasn't um, and that was a very lonely time um, I couldn't even come out here really to um, be on the computer when they were awake because all they'd want to do is kiss her and all that so um, but that is about it for this this week um, I have my doctor's appointment um, to check out my, um, my, you know, where they made the incision and everything, um, tomorrow. Um, I'm hoping she says that I can go back to working out. Um, and that's about it. She has a one month appointment that I have to make. I haven't made it yet, but, um, she has that probably in about two weeks. So, um, yeah, that's about it for week two. Um, so I guess I'll show you this, the belly. It's not very nice, but I'll put her down. Hold on. Okay. So this is 16 days. just so, well, it's so disgusting, um, but like I said, it's only been two weeks, so, you know, what can I expect, um, I just wish I was one of those people that right away went back to their normal size, but I'm not, I kind of bloat up and everything gets bigger, so, um, all right, well, this is, um, this is it. So, all right. Talk to you later. Bye.